everyday carry backpacks, which is probably one of the most vague categories that you'll ever find because if it's a travel backpack, you're gonna carry your stuff, go in two days, three days, week, whatever it happens to be. If you're an outdoor bag, you are going outdoors and you need to carry outdoor equipment, ice axe, trekking poles, tents, that kind of thing on the outside of the bag. Everyday carry is, my everyday carry is not gonna be your everyday carry. It might be completely different from what I'm gonna consider a standard EDC kit right here. Regardless, it's kind of a nebulous little thing. I've tried to neck it down into basically six considerations that if you're looking for an everyday carry bag, you might wanna consider some of these six things before you jump into one. After we go through the considerations, we'll talk about my gold standard, and then we're gonna go through, I don't know, there's a 10 over here. We're not gonna go in detail because this video needs to be sort of short, but I wanted to give you my thoughts on everyday carry and some of the top contenders right now. Some of my favorites and ones that maybe aren't my favorite, but that's based off of my style. They might be perfect for you. Let's get into everyday carry best of 2024. Breaking it right down, what are some considerations? Number one on the list is size. Typical EDC for me, I consider about 18 to 24 liters, something in that size, but that's not a hard and fast rule, right? You might be somebody that needs to take a ton of stuff with you to work or on a daily basis, so you would be maybe a 26 liter bag or all the way up to a 45 liter bag. But most of the time we're right in around the 20-ish liter bag size for everyday carry. So that's what you're gonna see mostly here. So based off of uh, you know the first choice is how much stuff do I need to take? Does that size requirement fit in that range? Perfect, pick something that meets that size. The second one, and as we see some examples, it'll make maybe a little bit more sense, but it's either work from the bag or work out of the bag, which sounds pretty much like the same thing but it's not. So some bags you'll work out of, meaning you take all your stuff out of the bag and go to work, and then you put all the stuff back in the bag and you go back home or wherever you're gonna go to next. Work from the bag means that you are going to just remove pieces and parts as you, as it, it's sort of like an accessory kit that is right next to you. So again, it'll make more sense when we talk about some examples. There's a subtle difference there. The third consideration is do you need to have access on the go or are you going to be stationary when you access your things? So for instance, an M23, which we'll look at here, has lots of nooks and crannies and pockets on the outside of the bag that you can access things as you're on the move. You don't need to really be stopped, put the bag down to access things. You can get things while you're moving or while you're standing up. Other bags, they just lend themselves to be more stationary open up the front and get things out of it. So those that's another consideration. The fourth consideration is tech. Now in my standard kit here, we're gonna talk about a laptop and a tablet. You might need two laptops. You might need, might need two tablets. It just, you know, I'm gonna consider at least two tech solutions when we evaluate some of these EDC bags, just so you know what I'm considering when I'm looking at, but that's basically tech. Another consideration is weather resistance. None of these bags I'm gonna show you are waterproof. They're just varying degrees of water resistant. Some are gonna do better in a downpour, some are not. So if you're the type of person that is gonna be outside, maybe in an urban environment where you're going from place to place and you're outside no matter what, then you might want something that's a little more wetter, weather resistant, AquaGuard zippers, a little more beefy of an outdoor fabric versus others that would be fine if you were traveling around in a car all day or if you were just taking quick shots outside, not necessarily outdoors for extended periods of time. So weather resistance is another consideration that you would definitely wanna consider. And the last one is water bottles. Yes, you need to stay hydrated. You might wanna carry one, but maybe you don't carry one because you have access to fluids at your workplace and you don't need to carry a water bottle. So cool. So we'll just make, we'll put that into the considerations. It's part of my standard kit here as we evaluate water bottle access in whatever bag you pick. So there you go. Those are my six considerations, size, work out of, 
work from, on the go access, how much tech, weather resistance, water bottle access. So we're gonna look at some things here in a second. But first off, what is my sort of standard kit, EDC kit? Well, to be honest, as an airline pilot, and this bag right here is packed out with my EDC, but it's pilot specific, headsets, aviation things that are important to me on a daily basis. If you're an airline pilot, this might be perfect for you, but for others, you're like, I don't need to carry a headset. Uh, so that doesn't make sense. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna consider a standard sort of on the go EDC kit that is more general, right? We have a 13 inch MacBook Pro. We have the middle size iPad, not the big pro or the mini. It's the you know more common size iPad, the original size. We have a GR2 size field pocket. We have a GR1 size field pocket. We have a Cap 2 from Evergoods and a Cap 1 from Evergoods. We also, because I generally speaking have this with me and something. This is a triple out design GPP-1. Now this carries a lot of really nice uh, action camera stuff and it just happens to be the perfect size for me that I use a ton. So we'll consider that part of my uh, kit. And then this is a mightier pouch from Garage Built Gear, which has become an essential part of my EDC because I am gravitating towards more manual notes in my field notes that's what i did all my notes for this video on here wherever i happen to be it just goes everywhere and if i like to protect that and have an everyday carry kit then this happens to be it you've seen this in a couple other videos this is essentially a flashlight a pen a tool which is where's oh it's behind the pen a screwdriver an extra this is actually a chipotle gift card and then a notebook so this is really what goes with me everywhere and since we're talking about everyday carry i normally am in one of three modes you've heard me say this before i'm either carrying a backpack or the middle case i'm carrying the boogie bag because i i don't want to carry this so i carry some sort of sling this is my hip pack that I, of choice the boogie bag from good works and if i don't have that then just in my hands or maybe in a jacket pocket is this mightier pouch so because it goes everywhere with me, we're considering this part of the standard kit. And of course, water bottle, 18 ounce Yeti. It's this one on the smaller size, but it is the most portable, I think, and fits in every bag, probably 90% of my everyday carry bags that I use. So that's it, that's the standard kit, how we're gonna evaluate these others. We're not gonna pack all of them with it, but it's just what we're gonna consider when we look at EDC bags that you should consider here in 2024. Breaking right into it. And this is the Ultra GR1. This is super cool and just brings me to, you know, what is the gold standard for me? And if you really, if you wanted to not watch the rest of this video and just what would I get? If I could get one, it would be a GORUCK GR1. Just the standard black edition, whether it be from Huckberry, the completely slick this ultra edition if you could find it if it's a heritage a samurai a grx you want you name it just the standard layout of a gr1 is perfect because it ranges across more activities for me from light travel fitness and everyday carry fitness because this is how goruck really started you could put a weight plate in here and do an activity super cool I wouldn't do that with this Ultra one, but anyway, the layout inside here is just for me, perfect for everyday carry. Now, there's more complicated bags, ones with more outside pockets, but the internal layout here of a GR1 is again, the gold standard for me because I have a stretch pocket, webbing on the inside to put another attachment. I have a top pocket in the special edition bags and I have two internal pockets. A lot of capacity at 21 liters, to carry all my stuff in a, I would say a work out of configuration. You can do a little bit of work from the bag, but it's mostly, as we look at other bags, work out of. Take your tech pouches out, put them on your desk, go to work, when you're done with work, put them back inside GR1. So this is top of the heap for me, a GR1, probably surprises nobody if you're familiar with my channel. So continuing the go rock vein, we'll just knock them out at the beginning, then we'll go to Evergoods and some other top bags that you might want to consider. Recently added to the fold 
And to be honest, my everyday carry bag of choice right now is this double compartment bullet ruck from Go Ruck. This is the 18 liter size. I have a 16 liter size, which is also awesome. And to be honest, as I've said a couple times, my normal EDC kit fits perfectly in the 16 liter size. Now I have the 18 liter because it's an ultra, so I've been using this one a ton, but either way, if you didn't get the ultra, you can get yourself one of these, and I'm sure they're gonna be coming out with different colors soon. But this dual double compartment bullet for me is the EDC king right now. Now, just cause we're here, you wanna look at how this is wearing right now. It's showing a couple of, you know, wear marks in the front. Um, and the bottom is holding out quite well. Again, being drug around at airports in this mode and it's showing really no sign of wear. Either way, the difference between the GR1 and the GR2 in terms of livability and workability and EDC-ness is the fact that from the top of the bag, I have the ability to access things in this front layer, this back layer, the quick access pocket, or the laptop pocket on the back. So I have multiple ways to access this bag. Oh, and then there's the pocket on the front. So for me, everyday carry for my work kit, this just works out perfectly. How do I live out of it? Well, in this front area, and then again, the double compartment, done videos on this, has a built-in pouch, room for other stuff. And this is where, again, a tech pouch kit with a camera inside. That's the uh, pocket three from DJI. And then usually this is where my mightier pouch fits in. These front layers, top pocket, for the bottom mesh pocket is snacks, other, the top pocket passport documents, money clips, some other things in there. So that's EDC in a bullet. The rear, rear compartment carries more snacks, of course. A bigger tech pouch is the GR2 size field pocket. A GR1 lashed into the back of this thing with a aviation headset. Of course, you wouldn't have to do that. And then I have sunglasses and some other things in this top pocket. So, and then a laptop at the back. So really, the double compartment bullet fits a ton, keeps it organized, allows you to access more layers on the go. And for me, that's just why this is kind of a perfect EDC bag. We're going right now. And of course, this one's an ultra, even better. So there we go. That's the second go rug bag. All right, two more from go rug. Well, Actually, yeah, so that if you didn't like the double compartment, maybe you're on the smaller end of things, then really the single compartment laptop additions tend to be my favorite as well because I can carry a laptop, check, and I can have some other things in here, but it's not overly complicated like the double compartment. And it's a lot lighter, a lot simpler. Inside here, we don't have the ability to put a tech pouch in here, but you can you could stack stuff and put things in the pocket. So again, super efficient use, if you're on the smaller end, would be this bullet. The other one from GoRuck is this M23. The category of on-the-go access, this is one that fits that bill because I have the side pocket, I have a front pocket, I have access to the main compartment, I still have my laptop, I can flip open this lid, and access things here. So I have on the go access way better than I would say a GR1 for sure. The bullet's a little different because you access it differently, but in terms of run and gun, sling things off and use things in the go ruck category, the M23, or if you have an M22, uh, they're both great bags. Just love the design. Way different than a GR1, of course, but for EDC, you can't beat an M23 because of just the way it lays out. And it's perfect. Now it doesn't open full clamshell, so that's a big difference between GR1 and M23, big differences. All right, that's the Go Rock category. Let's go to Evergoods, another one of my favorites. And the EDC King for them is a CPL24. Now what this one excels at from, I would say other bags is the ability to do multiple tech solutions. And that is because of their laptop solution. It has two layers in it. One layer with a Velcro tab for your laptop and then an area in the back, second laptop, big tablet, whatever you want. 
These are really unconstrained, where some people struggle to put bigger laptops definitely in this bullet. The GR1s, not so much. They can usually handle most laptops. This opening on a CPL24 is quite awesome. Now we also have side access here. This one does nice on the go access for sure. In terms of working out of it, it's just like a GR1. You can work out of it, but you're not gonna work from it because you know it's kind of the same thing. We have access pockets, but we don't have a ton of admin, which again, we're gonna get to one of those work out of type bags, work from the bags rather, either way. But on the go access up here for things, we just have a lot of stuff going. Of course, this is a Griffin edition, which is a super nice wax canvas. Really need to start beating this thing up, but it is fantastic. The Griffin, but a CPL24 from Evergoods. Their, I would say, flagship EDC bag is definitely a CPL24. You could step up to the CPD, CTP26 if you needed a little bit more and wanted a little bit different organization, but anyway, the CPL24 is, is where I would go. One thing I should say, is to make it on this list, you have to have a dedicated laptop area. Some bags don't have that. And if you don't have that, then I don't really consider you much of an EDC. Now, some bags have a way to add it later with a sleeve, that kind of thing. But anyway, this one's sort of, it's on the edge, right? Because it doesn't have a dedicated area like other bags in terms of EDC, but this is the MPL 22 from Evergoods. And this is, I would say, an EDC king just because just like a bullet ruck that does a lot of things well, um, but doesn't do any of them like super awesome. Like there's another bag. If you really needed something specifically for a laptop, you wouldn't want this one. But this one has a ton of features inside for you to put one in this back sleeve dedicated for a laptop. And it is expertly contained. Have some great pockets on the inside and outside. So the MPL 22 is just a good general EDC bag. So nice grab and go. And really the two favorite bags I have in the grab and go EDC. So they get a ton of use, these two bags. My standard, just regular bullet ruck, not laptop because I can pack it in and take it places. And it's not, you know, it does everything okay. I can put a laptop in it, but it's not designed for that. But, you know, so anyway, if I don't know what I'm taking and I just need to grab a bag, usually a bullet rock is one, and it's not that, then it's this MPL 22 because I just love this harness, super comfortable. Of course, I have a Thermal Liftworks little attachment on there. Kudos to them for making that product. Better breathable back. So this, this is just a great one, the MPL 22. Big fan of that for EDC. Here is Mystery Ranch and I don't have a ton of experience on a lot of the Mystery Ranch bags to say I have a favorite EDC of just one of their standard made bags. I've done a couple of them before and they just didn't really work day to day. But then they had this Unicorn come out and if you can get one of these, I highly recommend the Unicorn 2.0. This is really after the double compartment. This one is also probably my second favorite or a double, you know, second favorite. I don't know. This one just does a lot because of its access. Laptop access from the side, top big area for a lot of different things. You have the ability to put additional text. So the way I'd roll with this one is laptop in the back, tablets slid in the front. So when I travel for work in the black version of this bag, I basically have a built-in compartment and then I can put my tablet slid in the front. Now I have actually, if I'm doing it that way, I have put one of these triple out design sleeves in the front to just give me a, you know, a dedicated area. But anyway, a lot of side access for water bottles, okay, um, are good, but that's super cool. Water bottles, I didn't really talk about the GR1s. I just have to kind of put them in there. They don't have water bottle, water bottle access on the outside. So anyway, beaver tail, add tons of stuff, mystery ranch, but it's got a really comfortable harness, but it is a little bit bulkier. So it doesn't really pack down for me in my mode, but it is, if you were gonna be out and about, if you're gonna be in this bag all day long, the Unicorn 2.0 would be a top contender. Getting down to some more, I would say exotic, Maybe you don't know about these brands. 
But this is a bag from Track. This is the Track store made in Scotland. It's fantastic. It looks similar to a GR1, right? So, and I did a video on this one. This was a bag that I didn't initially intend to make a video of, but I saw some other videos of it and I'm just like, oh, this is fantastic. So it's very similar, I would say, to a GR1 on the inside. What I really want to say about this one is what differentiates the store from a GR1, side bottle pockets. So if you really like a GR1, but you need a side bottle pocket, definitely check out the track store because of course it's a fantastic wax canvas, a different wax canvas feel, more of a dry wax compared to the GORUCK heritage bags. But again, dude, side bottle pockets and a genius design. It really is comfortable. No top pocket on these, one big negative. But when I talk about work from the bag, some of these bags coming up are sort of like this. And this is one where you definitely work out of. By that, I mean you sit next to your desk, fold down the front, you got some admin for some of your smaller things. So maybe you eliminate one of these pouches and you put that stuff in here. Peripherals, hard drives, avalanche. Whatever it happens to be, you put it in here and you work out of the bag as it sits next to you, the coffee shop, at your desk, that kind of thing. Then you done with work, put some stuff back in it, zip it up and go on your merry way. So this is a great option if you want to need more from the bag when it's at your destination. I would definitely check out a track store or if you needed a water bottle, then there you go. Just definitely check out the track store. Fantastic. Oh, it's so comfortable too. Great bag. All right, we're on the home stretch. Two more to go. This is a triple up design Axiom. This is the waxed canvas version. What's awesome about this is, first of all, we have top pocket, super comfortable, which is nice. We have another, we have a main compartment, which is super cool, with some drop-in pockets, that kind of thing. Again, did a video on this one as well. You'll want to check out the full version. We have side pockets, which are good. Well, actually, this is for the laptop. Laptop on this side. And then on this side is a bottle holder. And as you if you watched my video, it's smallish, so you're gonna need a smaller water bottle, something more narrow to fit in there, but that's just something to consider. Super comfortable harness, very nice load lifters, very nice touch. And just like the track, this is a very nice work out of bag, work from. So you put it on the, the table next to you or the chair, back of your chair on your on the floor next to you and you can access any of the things that you bring with you small tablet big tablet laptop in the back you just have all these things all of your tech pouches solutions all stacked on the inside so there you go that is how i would use this one and it's great wax canvas it's fantastic i need that for later the last one and we're gonna actually pack this stuff up in here let's do that first Let's pack it up, man. pack it up. Boom, so there we are. This is another one of those great sort of work from or for work out of bags just because of the ability to access multiple pockets on the go. Nice handle, comfortable shoulder straps, just a ton of access when you're moving. And then this pocket, this top pocket is sort of unrivaled in terms of the ability to put some longer, taller items. So you would take cameras and some other items out of here, your phone, and you would stuff it in these top pockets just because that's where this Bellroy Venture Ready Pack fits a ton. It's 26 liters, it's awesome, but Super cool, fits all your stuff. And again, super durable, super nice. Side water bottle pockets, some attachment points. Again, did a video on this one. Compared it to another great bag, which I just didn't really include in this one this time from Able Carry. But anyway, another great everyday carry bag. And that's it. This could go on for days. 
because really any bag could be considered a great everyday carry bag so you could use it for that way but in this case just narrowed it down some of my favorites go ruck ever good some of the other fantastic brands are out there some of these are not perfect for me everyday carry but they might be better better for you than they are for me so there you go if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel see you in the next one it's not going to be so scattered with all these different bags probably just one maybe two who knows see you next video